morning. Today is Sunday, November 5th. And what I'm gonna do today is I am going to fix my study schedule and my study habits. This has probably been pretty clear um, if you've been following my channel at all, but I have been really, really lax with my studying. Um, all the MCAT stuff has kind of gone down the drain. And basically I've been doing a lot of relaxing here, um, relaxing traveling because it's been relatively easy of a semester, um, much easier than like Princeton courses. And so I've kind of taken the opportunity to just relax. Um, and like, while that's great, <laughs> I also do go back to Princeton in a month or so, because uh, this semester is almost done, I got a month left, and I don't really want to get absolutely destroyed in my Princeton classes when I get back, so I'm gonna try my best to try to like get my mind in the right space and fix my study habits within the coming month, and I'm gonna start that today. So there's a lot of things that I want to start or finish today, um, and so I will take you guys along the journey, and hopefully this will be the start of me getting my life back together. <laughs> And for some reason, every time I make a video, I'm always wearing this black shirt. Like, this one. I don't know why. online hopefully it's good um hope they have a good latte because the only coffee i ever order is lattes um it's only two tube stops away from where i'm living and yeah so i'm gonna go there and i think the first thing i'm gonna do is just gonna start simple and i'm just gonna figure out my class schedule for next semester um, of course election starts in like three weeks and yeah i have a lot of things i need to finish because i basically didn't do anything here in terms of like major requirements and so Bro, the internet lied to me. <clears throat> I went in there, I ordered a latte, I sat down, I got my computer out and the guy comes to me and he's like, yeah, sorry, we no laptops here. So basically I just paid a latte for him, paid for a latte for nothing. I mean, it was an okay latte, but like, you know. Now I still have to find a place to work and uh, I still have to buy something else. So that's kind of unfortunate, but maybe I'll go back to Olenstein because I've been there before to study and I know that they let me study there. So I don't trust the internet anymore. I need to take like four or electives for my major. I am actually gonna look at like course reviews and syllabus to see like if the classes would be interesting because course selection is really hard and I wanna make sure that I have something that I want. So I kinda got my schedule like relatively fine. Like obviously I'm not taking all those courses. I don't think I'd live. Uh, there's like a bunch of options and I'm probably taking five of them so I just like, just in case I don't get into them, those are the ones I think I want to take. Um, so actually what I'm going to do now is, since one of the classes is ORF 307, which is optimization, um, I'm going to take a look at the website and look through the first lecture, try to take some notes. Obviously I'm not going to understand it, but it'll prep me for the class better if I can actually look at the material ahead of time and try to get ahead so that I can understand it better in class and I'm not so behind in a semester where I have four ORF classes. It's like almost three, so I gotta go because at four o'clock I have a coaching session that I'm doing. Um, I really only got through like a chapter and a half because the second chapter was like, what, 90 slides. It was a lot of review of like lin linear algebra, but there's stuff that I forgot a lot, so it's good that I actually got a chance to review. Alright, so I've got about like an hour before the coaching starts and so while I heat up my food, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Leland, the sponsor of this video. I'll tell you kind of like what they do, who they are, and uh, how you can make the most of this platform. 
So I'm sure that a lot of you who are watching this video right now are interested in the higher education process. You know, this could be undergrad, law school, med school, business school, whatever. And I'm sure many of you are aware of these college consulting companies out there that charge upwards of maybe 800 to 1500 an hour to help you with your applications and craft your application package or whatever. Um, now obviously, that's not really affordable for most of us, and so Leland is basically like the middleman that makes this whole college consulting and coaching uh, system more accessible for all students. On the website, there are tons of coaches uh, for all these different kinds of things I can show you here. If you're prepping for the MCAT, for example, you can click on this section, you can find coaches that would match what you want here. And of course, if you want to look for coaches to help you with your undergrad college admissions, here's a section you would go and, uh, and I can show you all the different types of filters you can do to look for the coach that really matches you. So first of all, obviously you can filter this by price. Uh, some people charge much less, some people charge much more, and you can find the price range you want on the left here and you can scroll through the coaches here. Personally, as a Princeton student myself, uh, I've applied to be a coach with Leland and I feel that there's a lot of valuable perspectives that I can offer um, from a student and you know past applicant's point of view that a lot of other people can't, especially since I've documented a lot of my personal journey through this application. So I've been, I've done a lot of research and I've also had a lot of personal conversations with other students at Ivy Leagues about you know their application. So I feel like I have a relatively good understanding of a lot of things that could help you get into college. So let me show you how like you could find me, for example, on this platform. So let's say you wanna really get into Princeton, uh, as you should. Um, you can search for Princeton specific schools and then you can look at um, the price range and so with these filters you can find me here and then you can click on my profile and You can see the things I offer which are like hourly coaching certain packages and you can book a free info session with a coach and see If you want to actually book with them uh, and then if you do then you have all these different options that they offer that You can book with and help you with your applications. All right, so obviously I'm not gonna be diligent enough to study the entire day so that's like hours I was just watching YouTube and Twitch like you know, taking a break. But now I gotta practice clarinet and that is also something that I definitely wanna start being more consistent about when I go back to Princeton. I'm calling it quits. Uh, I've practiced for a solid like hour, maybe hour and a half. So it's actually pretty good. Better than a lot um, of times I've practiced in the past. I'm not hungry yet. Gonna go take a shower and then maybe I'll eat dinner, maybe not. Um, what should I do after? I don't know, theoretically, theoretically, if I were to be trying to increase my studying stuff, I would try to finish the second half of the um, or 307 slides. And I'm also gonna sleep early because that is something that I'm really mad at. Okay, a um, couple hours later, <clears throat> now I've decided that I am hungry, so my, uh, oh, my hair is, yeah, my hair is really long, so right now it looks like a mess, so I have to use this headband to keep it back, but anyway, my, um, my flatmate made dinner, and yeah, it's like salmon and cucumber, so now I'm gonna go eat dinner. So overall today was a lot of simple stuff, um, nothing too big. Uh, Cause I know if I did too much or tried to do like set too lofty of a goal, there's no chance I'd be able to like keep it up. Um, so my goal is just try to get maybe an hour of studying in a day. Um, and that should hopefully be enough to get my mind back in like an academic space so that I don't drop out of Princeton next year. <laughs> um, honestly, like an hour is plenty for now cause uh, I do have exams for RCM coming up that I'm a little bit worried for because uh, it's stuff that I'm not very good at. Overall, I'd say it was a success for today. And um, if you want to get started with Leland, make sure to check out the link in my bio. Um, but other than that, that's all I have for this video. So hopefully I keep at it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.